Oh, the little man from the draft board is coming to see me. Oh, the, 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 the man from the draft board! Oh, yeah! Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm the best guy ever, and here's Hippocrit. I like big guns and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't <laughs> deny. When I shoot yeah. you in the face, you're dead. <laughs> uh, and uh, Munchie USA, is here. USA, USA, Semper Fidelis to all, all our armed, armed forces. forces. Excellent. Uh, and uh, just so everybody knows, this is the PCP. It's a show where a bunch of YouTube and other place content creators we just get together and we talk about stuff. There, there's your there's your introduction. If you don't know what this is, that's what it is. Uh, so <laughs> trigger today's... warning because we're talking about guns. <laughs> oh, oh it's my true. god oh but yes who could talking ever about <laughs> our our topic today is the military the military what a, what an enigma what can you even say about a military uh, nothing have... nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing all right goodbye. Absolutely the no. yeah that's oh. it <laughs> yeah exactly read the urban what you say, dictionary yeah, I've oh got the Urban Dictionary God. open. Okay, I uh, some of the, some of the definitions are lame, so I just went to the one that is like a bunch of definitions. So here's here's like the third entry, and there's like five of them on here. So here we go: military, a government department. It's got like that parentheses s, uh, charged with defense of national borders. Two members of military department. Oh, uh, members of the military department. Forces, in parentheses, for some reason, an armed government department employed to ensure security and home and abroad. That's clearly a typo. Uh, nobody gives a fuck about Urban Dictionary, I guess. Mm -hmm. An armed force used to subdue or oppress groups which oppose governmental policy at home or abroad. And a designation which bestows virtual sainthood in some cultures. Hey. Oh, I get it. That's like the joke one. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Um, so that's it. So that's the, the military, the I, armed forces of nations. Yeah, I love war. I just want to say mm -hmm. that. Um, okay. Like, like as a little boy, you're told, uh, you know, war's bad, and you don't want World War Three, and you're like, oh, I guess I don't want World War Three. But then you read <laughs> about all, all the, all the fiction, all the stories, all the real life stories, all the cool things, you, all the toys. Mm -hmm. Like military war stuff is like the coolest thing ever, and and it, war it, it's great. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. War's a great time to rise through the social ranks. You know uh, this. You know this. This Alexander Hamilton was you know the play Hamilton, the musical that came out not too long ago. That um, uh, like one of the everyone tries to be like, oh Hamilton's such a wonderful guy and he's such a perfect boy. But like uh, yeah, he pretty much wanted war so that you know tons of people would die war is not good so that he could rise through the ranks yeah. and you know grow and like that was his opportunity to do so so he was kind of hoping for that shit nonetheless and, so uh and, and 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 nate you actually went to go see hamilton but then the entire cast you know wouldn't start the show mm -hmm. and they just berate you for and for and, and, just... and, and 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 your accomplice for yeah. you know not not respecting mm -hmm. minority rights and, and how you need to use your extreme <laughs> uh, executive power uh, effectively that's right like like that's what the right. fuck uh I didn't appreciate that. That was very rude, but I will work on forgiving them in time <laughs> as I strip away all their civil rights. <laughs> <laughs> <That'll be. laughs> I want to. I want to clarify. Conflict is is terrible because uh -huh. like conflict is like, oh, there's there's a group of people and they're being bombed by this nasty guy, and then there's other mm -hmm. bombs going off and there's drone strikes. That's boring. That's cowardly. It's it's terrible. Uh, uh -huh. There's civilian deaths. Don't like civilian deaths. I do like battles with with armies. Like like if we okay. were to go to war with a country, let's just say, uh, fuck you, we're going to war. Uh, send mm -hmm. everyone. Uh, the robots, the nukes, uh, the, the whole gang. The whole gang's here. <laughs> like I, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I love I love the idea and the romance of of battles and war, but if we're talking about the military, uh, it's it's pretty fucked up. Yeah, if, that if attitude is what started World War One. You know, everyone was real interested in like, man, we've got all these militaries. We haven't used our weapons in a while. We've got all these new ones, like this mustard gas bombs and shit. Let's just have a big war. Uh, and then they did, and that was World War One, and it was pretty a little just, bit like well, that. You know, it was a little okay. bit of that. A little bit. But, <laughs> That's like, pretty like, much we, what we started. Got to decide, pretty first much. of all, <laughs> like, like instead of just meandering around the idea of armies and war and mm -hmm. the military. What are we gonna like discuss about the military? Are we talking about like I think we it, should, in general yeah. or like current or or American versus UK military? 
because I we don't... can talk about like historical stuff, but I think more interest, you know, more like relevant would be like modern military and like its place in the world and what we think about it and what it's doing, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, Semper Fidelis to all our it, armed it, forces. Exactly, by the way. but I actually think far more mm-hmm. important, uh, military okay. fashion. The Prussian slash early oh, German it's Empire the best. had the best military fashion. Google search Franco-Prussian War uniforms for some fresh shit. Uh, World War One Britain has some good <laughs> shit too, but fucking debate me. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking uh, pickle helms that shit were fucking sick they were great I've always, and uh, uh, i like them i've always had a pension for ss officer uniforms <laughs> oh, oh, you, you know, know it, i i'm i'm quite fond of them i think they're very attractive looking mm-hmm. the nazis had impeccable fashion there's no denying it mm-hmm. at least yeah. for their officers for their officers yeah. officer Beret, fashion berets, is the coolest. berets have never been like uh, cool until the military decided that they were the thing like, I agree. You think of a beret, you think of like uh, a French guy oh. with onion and onions around his neck and going, oh, oh, I'm gay. Oh, oh. They're very afraid of vampires in France. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, no, it's, mm-hmm. it's onions. They're, they're, it's werewolves oh. with onions. Vampires. Werewolves hate onions, right. <laughs> Vampire, vampires is garlic. Werewolves is onions. And mummies hate parsley. Just wave some parsley in a mummy's face and you got that boy spooked. <laughs> yes. I'm but, pretty um, sure that's how that works. Yeah, berets, <laughs> like... The, the, British uh, officers types they're like oh I'm, mm-hmm. I'm in charge and I have a red beret and I'm cool and I'm like yeah you are I believe you <laughs> you do <indeed laughs> yeah have that I agree here. what about um okay that that's true and all but what do we think about you know like so 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 times have moved on and like if there were to be like a world war 3 it would be a uh, a big deal cuz the last like big old war of course is world war 2 and well, that ended with the advent of nuclear weapons. So, like, that's on the table now, mm-hmm. and that's a big deal. And I don't know how much we want to talk about, like, war I, specifically versus... I think, I think yeah. if there is going to be a World War III, mm-hmm. nobody is going to admit that it is happening and that it's being called World War III because nobody wants the nobody wants to live in a world where World War III <laughs> is happening because so much time has passed since the, you know, what it was called <laughs> it would at the be time really... the Great War. <laughs> It would be really bad PR to have World War Three. That would be very it's bad not, for, it's not for about morale. PR, but I'm just thinking, like general people, they're always uh-huh. like, "Oh, World War Three is just around the corner. It may already be happening." Well, like the, but, like the Cold War is kind of like the World War Three, just in the sense that like most of the world was divided up between like two sides, and uh, I mean at least America and Russia, or the USSR and like all its subsidiaries and shit. Mm-hmm. And then, like, but of course, like the whole the whole thing there was like we couldn't afford to escalate that to a bigger war because if we did, and that's maybe why nuclear weapons are kind of good because they force you to find other things or else everyone's dead. Even though that threat's on the table, you know, mm-hmm. if you don't find a way to to avoid that outside of like, I mean, now that you know nukes are on the table, like you're gonna get a nuclear war, and that's not so good. It's not yeah. so spicy. Mm, the the, ne- too the spicy. next the next time a nuke is used, I mm-hmm. think will be it's gonna be a big deal it's gonna be a big deal and probably people will say okay now it's happening like now world war three because like you can't you can't back down from like well now we're gonna try uh sorting this out peacefully because we knew you know what the most likely uh thing for that is i think that the most likely thing i think that probably will happen at some point but it's gonna be like some sort of dirty nuclear bomb that like a terrorist organization gets their hands on somehow because like more and more countries are getting their hands on nukes and shit. It's just you know the, the well, technology is known. It's out there mm-hmm. for like sixty years now. Uh, so I think that's gonna happen. It's not gonna like destroy a country or anything, but it's gonna be very bad. And it's going to radiate like a population somewhere, and it's gonna be fucked up. London, I don't think it's almost inevitable. <laughs> yeah, Olympics, baby. Here <laughs> yeah. we go. Drop the ball. <laughs> uh, fun fact: Did you know uh-huh. that uh, during the Korean War? Uh, a, a U.S. general wanted to just use a nuke on China, not like on their capital, but just on like China. to like stop their advance, like just a tactical nuke. Just wait, wait. Do you mean battle. China or Vietnam or Korea? At, at, I mean, in the Korean War, China helped North Korea. I was so oh, right. So they want to nuke China to stop the North Korean advance. Yes, or yes, to, yes. To, to, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm following. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, there's certainly a tactical advantage sure. to using a fucking nuke, but uh, J- just just you think know. about how. Like, how fast we would all be dead if that were to transpire. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, like, I, um, think it's, the, it's, I think the moment it's, uh, that a single nuke is used, we are all dead. And you might as well uh, just say your prayers. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's kind of... That's the nature of deterrence. It's kind you know? of... Um, it's so big a threat that it's kind of hard to wrap your head around being scared about it. 
-hmm. Like at any moment, a country could decide, uh, you know what, we're gonna suddenly start using these. Fuck you, boom. North and Korea, then, dude, North fucking Korea. Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, they have nukes and they could nuke us and we could be dead within a day or two. And if mm. we're not dead, the whole rest of our country will be in nuclear uh, quarantine and would be nothing, all our infrastructure will fall apart and would be in the slums and it will be terrible. And you're like, you're thinking about how bad it could possibly be. And you're not shying away from it, but it's just it's just too big to be like scary in a, in a way that you can understand. You can't feel... Well, you know that fear until it's act it's, it's like actually happening to you the people that are the most interesting to me in there are are the south korean people because like right across that fucking wall or river whatever it is uh there is north korea has nukes could easily drop them on south korea if they wanted to and and that's the big thing with why okay so north korea is possibly the most dangerous nation like in the world right now because mm -hmm. they're so fucking crazy and they worship you know like this one dude who runs the whole ship and can do whatever the fuck he wants because he's like a god or something to the people. Uh, so, like, because of that, if we go in and try to, like, take that guy out, as a lot of people want to, because he's just a toxic element on the world stage, uh, like, the most likely thing that would happen is that we can't, like, instantly take out all their defenses and they just dump everything they got on South Korea. They're holding, like, at least all of Seoul, like, the capital, yeah. which is right across yeah. the border. They're holding all... The population of Seoul is held captive... Uh, to prevent, like, any action against North Korea, period. And, like, there's just... And, and those people, like, I, I was listening to an NPR story, I think, about, like, interviewing what South Koreans think of North Korea. Like, they, they're they they're hoping to get, like, a resolution at some point. They want diplomatic talks. In fact, I think they just elected a president who ran on a platform of, like, uh, reform, uh, reforming relations with North Korea. I mean, who knows if that has any chance of working. I'm certainly no expert in the politics. But, like, they want that to happen. But, like, they are just, like... Yeah, like, it's too big to think about for them. The fact that every single day they could be wiped off the All face right. of the earth I wanna, at I the whim of King John Moon. Yeah, here. sure, we're, sure. We're, This isn't the world politics PCP. This is the military That's PCP. related, but yeah, you're right. I kind of wish should, it was the talk world about politics PCP. This is the fashion. The military. This, this is fashion PCP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fashion souls. Dude. I guess, I guess. Dude, dude. I was just thinking. Military fashion is so cluster punk, dude. Which, what is? Military fashion is so fucking clusterpunk. Oh. What are you talking about? It's not clusterpunk at all. It's the most streamlined, like, uh, disciplined, organized, possible it, it fucking be. thing. It could be. That, that, that's what we have to all if achieve they, to. When the, when the dark carnival starts, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the jugglers assemble their armed forces. Now that will be a clusterpunk <laughs> military. Actually no, no. The, people yeah. will be too scared to call it World War Three, so they'll just call it the dark carnival. They, they just, exactly. yeah, it'll, be too, it'll be too horrifying to call it World War III. So, yeah, well, we're in the midst of a dark carnival, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all, all, it would take, all it would take is, uh -huh. is, is for Donald Trump to say, I am now... Uh, a I'm a juggler. <laughs> I am now a juggler. I, I'm down with the clown, American, <laughs> and, American brothers and, and sisters. Like, everything will come true that was in Homestuck, just like we all thought, just like we all yes. knew. Mm -hmm. It will all come true. Guy Fieri will be yes. there. You know, <laughs> Trump says, "I'm yeah, down a clown, ladies and gentlemen." Happens. He says, "As a nuke explodes behind him, <laughs> <laughs> like like he puts on uh, the shades, like yeah. cool, like walking away from explosion." Yeah. <laughs> but it's a nuke, as he so nukes it his, because he fucking him. nukes the White House, <laughs> yeah. his own fucking house. <laughs> He's just like, "Fuck this shit, man." We're this is the carnival, baby. Oh my god! Uh, Theoretically, and then it gets, it gets replaced with a black and white house. What, <laughs> what, what, what if like no? What if, what if fucking North Korea just explodes itself? Theoretically, I mean, that could that happen. Point and laugh. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that that sounds pretty cool. Unfortunately, like, you know, to the rest of the world, uh, excuse me, like, the North Korean people are also, like, brainwashed people being held hostage. Mm -hmm. You know, who knows? I don't know what they, if they actually, like, believe this shit. I mean, I'm sure to some level they do, because right. the propaganda's been so right. intense. I got, I got an angle. I got an angle okay. for this, <laughs> for about, oh, okay. about the military. Uh, sure. Your favorite historical army uh, thing. Oh, there's many. like from okay. like from Age of Empires or Civilization. Fucking fucking whatever oh. whatever you know. What is your favorite? Oh man, um, I like uh, I don't know. Okay, you go first, Gabe. Well, let me think while you, you well, say something. Well, I played Age of Empires two a lot and mm -hmm. uh, fucking love that game. Learned so much more uh, about history from mm -hmm. that game than I ever did in my books. Uh -huh. uh, that's what video games are. Video games are teaching. Mechanisms. They're like books, only good. Mm -hmm. They're like books, but you don't have to open them. Thank God. You have to you click on them, though. Double click. click on them. 
But you have to install Linux and then boot your, you you're, know, you're, Windows you're, you're, you're emulator. And, then and you have to fucking draw yeah. your own game. And then you have to draw every <laughs> yeah. every frame. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Every frame, literally a GIMP painting is, is, the, is the way it's said. But like every Avon frame of PNG. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fucking, I loved uh, in that the English longbowman. Mostly because I'm English, mm. and that's like, oh, yeah, mm. I sure, I sure. want to be an archer now. I want to be a longbowman. But because also that if you get, like, 50 of them, uh, they can just completely decimate, like, anybody because they've got the longest range, and it's uh -huh. so cool just to see all those arrows flying. God, I love I love arrows, dude. <laughs> she I hear you. Hi Hi um, you would also love... knights. I fucking love knights and castles. Okay, what knights are you, cool. you? You would love Civ Five because they have the longbowman. England has the longbow, uh, longbowman in that game, and he's fucking overpowered because he can see so fucking <laughs> far. He can see like millions of miles at a time. He is he's unhuman. <laughs> Literal, literally, elves were based on longbowmen. I'm yeah. making that Whoa, up, really? but it <laughs> makes sense to me. I mean, J.R.R. Tolkien was English, so yeah, you're right. Pretend you ain't wrong. Confirmed. Proven. Confirmed. What? But uh, uh, did you know? Here's a stupid gay fact. Uh, did you know that it was required by law that every male uh has to learn to to be an archer in England. And that was huh. a law that was was never stopped. It was it's still in effect. It's just nobody Whoa. fucking gives a shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty sick. That's awesome. Uh, like that's kind of, that reminds medieval. me of those like there's like shit. these weird old laws in America that like you have to carry a gun on your way to church on Sunday, like in like New England, because uh, like there were Indian raids going on, so they were like wanted all the men to be armed and shit. But like still, in some towns, you are like by law ordered to carry a gun with you to church. Uh, wherever the fuck you go, it's just... You I don't know, see that why it's a lie. You just do that normally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you, dude. <laughs> Jesus wants to see us pack any heat. Yeah. I still kill the Native Americans on my way to church still. <laughs> no one stopped me yet. <laughs> you didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you know, okay, my favorite military, I think... I mean, I'm quite fond of the Nazis. The Nazis oh, cool. yeah, I'm quite fond of the Nazis as well. <laughs> you know, dude, you know it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they were pretty cool, but I, I'm definitely going to give it up to the Persian slave hordes. Oh. The Persian slave hordes are totally dope, and they're full of magic. I'm basically basing this just on 300, <laughs> but they're fucking, they're fucking sick, bro. And they hurl, you know, themselves endlessly, and they just fucking. die in agony and pain. They don't want to be there, but they're forced to be there by their god king. That's that's the army for me. That's what I want to... Any, any want. army that uses aesthetic. elephants is my is so, yes. so good. So like, cool. Like, so so big, war elephants are the coolest. Big guy with a big nose swinging that around. <laughs> you could pick up a club. You yeah. could whack him with a club. Like, yeah. Like, that's exactly yeah. what I want to see on the battlefield. The most powerful <laughs> nose in the Middle East. <laughs> All right, Munchie, uh, what, do you, what, what do you like? I, oh, I, I don't know about that. The Israel's got a oh Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, that's true. Gal they can really Gado, sniff out a deal you? if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, uh, there's a lot. There's quite There's quite a bit, so I'm mm -hmm. just going to rattle off some. Uh, my my mm -hmm. all-time favorite war of all time is World War One, And, and it, like, like my favorite, like, okay. period of time is the 1800s through 1900s. Uh, everything before is gay, uh, and besides the ones that aren't, and then also everything afterwards mm -hmm. is gay, except it's not. It's even better. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, World War One. I, I like Venezuelan, I like the South American Wars of Independence, all, all of them pretty cool. Uh, I like, I, I, I like, I pretty like pretty much anything in Europe, pretty much anything there is good, besides when it involves anything in East Europe, because East Europe is gay. Uh, I like yeah. uh, and anything and everything in Asia is gay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much which, it. Which so which military force? Oh, oh is your military force. Like oh wait, oh yeah. oh that. Oh shit. I don't know. They're all pretty bad. I hate them. <laughs> I don't like about, any of okay. them really. What about the fucking world warriors from Scotland? The, oh my the god, the dragon queen. Scotland's gay. Oh wait, fucking the Romans. The Romans. The, they're the coolest. They made a fucking cool. turtles things with their fucking shields. They made <laughs> turtles on the battlefield. Wait, you mean the the fuck what's the phalanx? Because that was a Greek thing first, wasn't it? No, no, the 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 Roman. Well, maybe it was, but the Romans developed. It was in three hundred, bro. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but the Romans, they 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 invented like mass producing uh, uh, by by means of like making 
the equipment exactly the same by using molds and stuff and, 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 and making everything to order exactly the same so that they, their shields could very uh, easily lock together uh, mm. to make, like, big old... Sh like, you couldn't fucking get them. They're just impenetrable. It's the coolest. That's true. That's the phalanx, right? Is that I, what it's I don't called? know whether it's called a phalanx, but if you type in Roman turtle thing, you'll find some, okay. some shit. Uh, hey, also, cool. Asterix and Obelix is my dad. I just want that to, to be known. <laughs> okay. What it's was that my much? It's my favorite thing. Uh, uh, w uh, hippo, red pill me on Wales. What? It, it, it's it's just England, right? Like, uh, all right. Wales is uh the little bump on the left side. Well, uh, yeah, of I, I know the, UK, the England, yeah. great, like, yeah. yeah. Uh, -huh. uh, I, I know that it it <laughs> at one point I think it may have been a country with a king. But I'm yeah, not actually so, right? I'm not actually sure that it ever was, and I'm not sure that it ever was not part of England. But they just speak a different language, and they have a flag, and we're like, fine, just have it. It, it rains know... all the time over there. We don't care. I know <laughs> okay. that. Uh, I mean, Scotland has referendums on independence sometimes. That I think, yeah, that didn't pass last time. Does Wales ever have like referendums for independence? Is that a thing they I, do? I don't. Yeah. Well, this is the thing because I, I I've heard I've heard mm -hmm. once. And I don't know whether it was true, but it was probably true because it was on television. Uh, right. <laughs> that Wales is not technically its own nation, but oh, yeah, it's treated... Yeah. It has a border, and you mm -hmm. need your passport, and it's basically a nation. Huh. But they don't really care about seceding because they have no real yeah. infrastructure. Like, their biggest exports are like, uh, like Tom Jones and, and, and stuff like that. Like, like what is Tom real... Jones? Watch new pussycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. That's that guy. He, oh my god, I'm clipping the he's mic from the Wales? whole time. Is that like an American? Okay, all right. No, no. He's he, there's a lot of Welsh singers that are very, very good at singing. For some reason, I think it might be the language. They just they're just good at singers. They're good at singers. They make good singers, and that's what okay. they export. That's what I, that's my point. I'm clipping the mic. I got to change the mic. Well, let's, okay, let's talk about, let's completely shift gears back to military stuff, and let's talk about the current American military and what we think about it, because, like, that's the uh, thing that Semper we have the most... Fidelis. Oh, wait, I forgot you're from England, but but nonetheless, you can talk about the, you know, the British military if you care to, but, like, uh, I mean, some of the guys that we were hoping to have on here actually, like, grew up near fucking military bases I and know a lot of people in the did. military. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that you were that near one. Okay, well, what do you think? What do you think of our fine men and women uh, in uniform? Here is my opinion of people in the military. Uh, okay. Every single day, there is a helicopter or a plane that runs over my head very fucking mm -hmm. fast. And it always <laughs> scares me because I just think, this is the day. This is the day where I get 9 11 it's it's yeah. it's bound to happen, <laughs> but now now it's finally transpired, and I am about to become the nine eleven. Uh, but mm -hmm. it never happens, and I'm uh, getting I'm getting increasingly upset. Like like if you're gonna do that to me, why not just fucking pull the trigger? You know, <laughs> you're upset that they're just delaying the inevitable, yeah, yeah. right? Right. Uh, and soon those will be drones instead. Oh, oh no, nine eleven <laughs> drones. <laughs> yeah, uh, then I, it will I, truly be seven eleven. I, I live next to like a mil like a huge military base. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's, it's like a town that's developed around the military base, and all of them are just uh, right, rich right. assholes. And so, uh, I don't know, they're pretty gay. Uh, I actually, no, I went to a bowling alley one day on the base with, with a military friend, and uh, I like mm -hmm. bowling. So they're, you know what, they're good. I, I've changed my opinion. They're actually really nice people. <laughs> on the, on, okay, the, on, cool. the, on the, the basis of they, they like bowling too. Yeah. They love the military. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know a lot of people in the military, but uh, I, I have found everybody to be very, they're very professional. They're very polite. These guys seem like they know what's going on with the, with the shit around them. So, uh, I don't know. I like them. I guess I just, um, this isn't even really a criticism of the military, but I don't like people with guns near me at all. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't like when people could kill me if they want to, because I don't know these people, and I don't know if they're actually sane or crazy, so it always spooks me when I see, like, when I'm at, like, the airport, uh, or just, like, a, I don't know, like, in Penn Station, a couple of times I've seen, like, people with guns walking around, like, military people. Yeah, it's a little spooky. It's a little spooky. So I just don't trust anyone in the world, uh, including, like, the military or politicians or my friends or family. Mm -hmm. I don't trust anyone. Uh, I'm on my own. I'm on my own. And when there's people with guns, uh, yeah, they, they, they scare me a little bit. They scare me a little bit, including cops. So you're saying that you hate freedom of speech? I mean, oh, the Second Amendment? Oh, no. 
whatever <laughs> yes. you hate guns oh my fucking god thank Look you for condensing my argument to the important over part. Here. jesus <laughs> christ you know i don't know uh, how yeah. how true this is but i've always felt like and maybe it's just my own propaganda on my on my side of the of the pond hmm. um but the the general as the feeling i get is that the american military is big but it's not like tightly constructed like the, they have bunches of soldiers and bunches of stuff but there's mm-hmm. a lo- there's a larger percentage of them that are just not that well trained and they fuck up and do bad stuff and kill now the hang wrong on guy. hang on a second there In i don't know if that's at to... all true huh because like i mean i mean how, how many military people do do you and i really know i have no idea i'm just what saying the process because for, like, military I, training I, is like i feel outside the, the needs to I've feel seen. better than than you guys because my military is oh, smaller, you make a comparison. but I see. Yeah, yeah, the, it's, it's smaller because obviously there's less people, but mm-hmm. because of the smallness and the fact that we're an island, we have like a big old right. naval thing. We've always had that, and we've got mm-hmm. a good oh, air force. God. Like, and we're like more, more, more tightly more woven. More like a like, scare like, force. <laughs> hey, like, uh, like, I'm uh, scared uh, Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, like uh, you know, put together very, very carefully and and properly and trained and like uh, yeah, you gotta do it right otherwise you're gonna get slapped uh, you t- do your yeah, bootlace what, what governor you can't drink the tea while you fly the plane <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I know <laughs> nothing blah, blah. That's I know you. nothing about fucking military why am I here well here's why <laughs> uh-huh. uh, I want uh, to uh, uh, join the military and <laughs> I want to join the, I want to drive a tank and I consider want to shoot this, it. Consider this your official uh, is uh, your official okay, guys, signing into the I'm, military. I'm I'm leaving the PCP. I'm joining the military. That's what I <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. They they do bigger podcasts there. They get more yes. money per podcast. They do they do podcasts while doing drone strikes. That's what they're about. That's it's an upgrade yeah, in a big th- way. Those podcasts are way better cuz they have like live feeds of the people they're bombing. It's so <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> of the drone. They're, they're, it's they're, very they're, engaging. It's, it's basically like like soldiers react to uh, carnage. Mm-hmm. Yes. That they're causing. Okay. Let me let me say this. They um, point I think laugh. about I want to do that. <laughs> you should. I think about uh, I, I have a lot of respect for military people because uh, I think that a lot of them all, do all their shit for the right reasons and that they I mean I uh, I'm too cowardly to want to do this shit but they you know they they really are willing to put their lives on the line and, and risk it for yeah for I, stuff. I guess and, I, I mean, didn't really um I just I guess I didn't really mm-hmm. like say w- about the like the people who join the military um I yeah. think uh it's generally a silly idea but I see why people do it and. <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. it's like it's like it's like part. You want to be like a hero. You want to be protecting people. It's like a you know, you do it for a good reason. Hopefully, you don't just want to shoot people. You want to consider... protect your country. You feel proud and all that, and there's and there's stuff. But I I feel like it's generally, it's pretty silly because the government government may have like a stupid idea that they want right, to send right. you to the wrong place and kill you the wrong people. You have to trust your government, really, if you're, or whoever's commanding you, if you're it's uh, just like, in the military. It's like, just like, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't join the military because I don't trust, like, really any government to put me in the place that's going to do the best for, uh, you know, yeah. the world at large. Uh, uh, well, let me, let I me... would care about my country more just in general because that's where all my friends and family are. Sure. And where I am, I don't know. Well, let me throw it's, this It's at a very you. big thing. I say that not joining the military is like pirating video games. It's like that uh, because so you good. are you are reaping the benefit of like labor that other people are doing. Like people in the military. I mean, obviously the the, the degree is different. Uh, like you are profiting from like other people's work. And like yes, of course we all pay taxes and shit. And if you're in the military, like you know you get paid and you good things come to you if you do so. But you're taking an extreme risk. Uh, you know, uh, doing that kind of shit. You're you're putting yourself at the very least in harm's way, even if it's not extreme risk. You could have like a desk job or whatever, but like you're part of this machine that's that's doing defense. And you know what? I mean, that's kind of that's kind of silly. I, I thought somebody would yell at me, and I would concede that like it's not actually like pirating video yeah. games because you're not. Well, you're, like it's I was just... gonna say, I was gonna totally agree with you as a joke because it was uh, it sounds okay. so funny, like a one to one correlation. Yes. It's exactly the same. <laughs> that's good, but like. Okay, let me... I, I got a lot of respect for these people. I always think about that scene. I watch this movie all the fucking time, A Few Good Men, with Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson. And that part at the end, like the most famous scene of the, you can't handle the truth, 
where Jack Nicholson's like, uh, son, we have a country that has walls, and those walls, those uh, walls need men to stand on them and defend the nation from people who want to destroy it. Who's gonna do it, Lieutenant Weinberg? You? You? Uh, I forget the names of the other characters. Uh, but yeah, like, the point is, like, that guy gets it. That guy realizes that, like, yeah. they're... No matter what, there's always going to be forces that, like, want to take things that other people have. Uh, and I'm not saying, like, like in their case, they're talking about, like, Cuba. And at the time, like, Cuba and America were very much not not liking each other so much. Um, and, you know, things are different now. But there's always going to be something like that. And I just really appreciate the people who do do that shit. Yeah. And, like, I, I've got a personal uh, uh, memory of this. Like, when I was a kid, I worked at Papa Gino's, this pizza shop in, in Massachusetts. Nothing beats it. And, like, there was this... Yeah, it's, it's the best. It's my favorite. And uh, there was this guy who worked there for a little while. And he was a veteran, but he was only a couple years older than me. I was, like, 17 or something. He was, like, 21, 22, like, really young. But he was an Iraqi fucking veteran already and had, like, come back. And, like, he told me the story one time about how, like, yeah, you know, one time me and my buddies, we were, like, raiding this house. And, uh, you know, there was a fucking, there was a perp there, you know, whatever the word was. Like, there was a fucking guy there trying to kill me. And so, like, I, you know, I what something happened. I, like, fell back. I pop off a few rounds, and I see this guy looking down at me. And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm about to die for my country. You know, I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to... Just trying to, you know, be a good person. And, uh, but he, he didn't die. He didn't get shot. He survived that particular situation. But now here he was, just like barely scraping minimum wage in this fucking pizza shop, despite being like that level of willing to put himself in danger for like my sake and everybody else. And like the world just didn't give a shit about this guy. And like, I get it, you know, capitalism, you are the value that you can give to the world. But like, God damn, I just yeah, felt like the world wasn't respecting this guy enough that's and why, other people like him. That's why I said it was silly because of the way yeah. veterans are treated. Mm -hmm. Not not because I don't respect them cuz like they they like the jobs they do, they do very well and they have to yeah. do it very well otherwise they're dead. So it's like it's very respectful and it's very like you know, that's why I said I like war, like it's very mm -hmm. romantic, it's very cool. Young boys all over the world, they just they just dream of being a, a tough soldier and, and defending their country and stuff. When Gib hears about a bunch of young boys in one place, he knows hey. that's the place he wants to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, school. School. Kindergarten, yes. But, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, they're just, they come home and then they're fucked. Like, yeah. if they ha especially if they, they got a leg blown off or whatever. They get, yeah. a, yeah. they get a nice award, you know, like, yeah, yeah, a little, little dinner for you fucking it's just it's just a really bad thing to have to go through and then you're not even in a position of power you're just you're just a grunt you're just a throwaway object of a human being to the government that you signed up to to serve and it's just yeah, yeah. that's why i think it's silly like it, it's just that's why we need robots to take over uh the jobs of the military not because that'd be nice not because of like you know well, actually, yes, because it's better. Because, because robots, they can't feel, and they don't deserve rights. And fuck them. I hate robots. True. True. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> well, just I need mecha, and then we can just fight with our mecha and not have foot soldiers. Anything then, we can do to lower the total the number of people who die in war would be a good thing. I think drones, dude. Um, oh, 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 Obama tech. <laughs> that's true. Only drones kill ninety percent. Not the target. Well, you know, they just you know. kill like, Obama, other people. Obama you know, invented dude. Obama. Uh, inv Obama invented Obamacare and also um, Obama. Uh, Obama's kill. scare. As <laughs> Obama scare. There what we go. What is it with you? There's it's the scary word. Scary today. I don't know. This is the Halloween episode. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, what his drones are called. He invented drones. He invented Obama scare. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's uh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have to interject here. Uh, but, but, okay. Uh, just catch up. Just like a few sentences before I continue what we were actually talking about. Uh, back mm -hmm. up. Uh, my, I just, I realized that my favorite uh, military force is actually the British. Uh, and I like okay. I like the long I like the ship of the lines. I like how they go around and they fucking destroy people and minorities. <laughs> and I liked how right, they subjugate right. people. And I, I yeah, wish that it lasted period? longer. All good things. Mm -hmm. All good things. Pretty good. What time I, period? Uh, yeah, what time period? Oh, 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 like oh, when they oh, were oh, the big oh, empire? Oh, 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 time period. Uh, like, like, uh, late, like, like, at second half 1800s and, until, and they got fucking their ass After kicked. the Yanks broke away? Yeah, yeah, after the Yanks broke away. Like, around the yeah, time okay. when, when India was in full swing. Oh right, okay, yeah, sure, sure. I, I I really love the the whole red coat 
sort of uniform. Yeah. The, the funny hat and, and the... Yeah, yeah, man. You know, George Washington wanted to be a red coat his whole life when he never fucking made it. Instead, he it, just became president to the United States. Gay. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that, that, that's the national anthem. <laughs> yeah, it's a sick power metal album. Uh, it, <laughs> it was for George, at least. Uh, I, 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 oh. I, I like I like England, France, and Germany. I like all the like the the the, the Western Europeans besides Spain. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know my my notorious hate for Spain. If you listen to this in Spain, I fucking hate you. Get fucked, oh, move yeah. to Portugal Damn. or France. I'm gonna bl- I'm gonna blacklist all of you. All of you are blacklisted from listening to the. Hey, PCP. weren't you weren't you calling for Portugal to be absorbed by France just so that the con- the peninsula would look better? Yeah, I I, I did that before I was red pilled on Spain. Before oh. I was fucking <laughs> right. Red-pilled okay. on, on, yeah, a Portugal you, should absorb want, Spain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The opposite. Uh, I- I- anyway, yeah. So so I like all that culture. Anyway, uh, back to what we were fucking saying. Uh, right. Why would I? Why like like on like military like joining the military and like you know people sure. with vets and stuff. Why like why would I fight for beliefs and reasons I don't believe or I think fully understand because the government's always like doing like weird puppet shit and they're never gonna actually yeah. tell me what I'm actually fighting for. I don't have like a national identity or anything whatsoever. And even if I did, I better things do than like die for a cause that I don't have a stake in. And like I respect, you know, veterans for doing this stuff, but I, I, I do not I do not feel like I am American. And I know that's like not a I think that's like a problem mm-hmm. probably, but I don't feel you're like You're fucking I'm globalist? Yeah. Is that what you're yeah, telling exactly. me right now, Munchie? I am literally a globalist. Close Photoshop and end yourself I'm right now. Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like I, I understand the sentiment though. That's kind of a that's kind of like a millennial sentiment to feel more like a like a, maybe a human or a world citizen as opposed it's, to it's a national the identity. Internet, you know, you're, yeah, you're, that's right. You're, you're, able for the first time to really talk to people from other countries you know mm-hmm. it's, it's usually just the english speaking countries but sometimes there's, there's you know there's other people from europe who speak english like danes and stuff mm-hmm. they, they they say hello i'm from daneland and i say okay. fuck off it's me <laughs> yeah. you say fuck off yeah but like it used to be like that like earlier when it's like um your nationality in a youtube comment section would mean something and people would laugh at you I mean, I guess they still do if you're on a video about, like, nations. Sure. But it, it, it matters so much less now because people have friends across uh, countries so so often, so normal. Where the military is uh, concerned there, it kind of reminds you of Metal Gear Solid 4. It's been, like, a bunch of years since Metal Gear Solid 2 happened. And, like, the world has changed such that, uh, like, national identity has been, like, completely removed from, like, militaries. Militaries are now just, like, these hired groups that just you know they go wherever and they just kill anyone and like ideology or like national borders no longer have anything to do with like the wars that are fighting it's just like economics and and yeah i don't know just i feel uh, like petty squabbles or something i don't know i feel like the the best way to solve most major conflicts is for like a an, an actual good google translate to translate everything from every country so that everybody could talk to everybody there is some issues though, like cultural, like uh, the fact yeah, that I'm, yeah, just, but I'm like, not like saying everybody, that but would, like that would figure out, like know the, the language and then know the thing and then. But maybe, but like, some, I'm just saying some people, like for just as one example, there's some you know like Islamic people who want the whole world to live under Sharia law, and that doesn't translate very like even if you understand what they want, that's not like helpful for when they you know want to yeah, conquer your I country. Mean, what I mean yeah. is like you have like you know. Let's say video games, like the video mm-hmm. games shipped to all sorts of countries. If you have people from those games talking to each other from different countries and they're just kids, they, you know. Will that not, solve all our problems? Not, <laughs> Let it uh, work. Yeah, video games will so, save the world. Um, uh, what yes. I mean is, like, you make friends as kids when you're, when you're naive and you don't know oh, about, like, world political stuff and, mm-hmm. and Sharia law and, like, oh, well, I didn't know that. You know, if you're if you're like um if you're in the Middle East and you're a kid and you you're online, and uh, you hit you you know you're friends with all these American people and you'll and then your dad says uh, Americans are fucking horrible and they suck, mm-hmm. like some mm-hmm. some of those kids are gonna be like well wait I, I like these guys they're fun they're cool, I don't I don't know uh, and then it's sort of it, it's mm-hmm. it sort of makes the next generation a bit less prone to hating people instantly. 
I think that's definitely happening right now to some degree. Definitely. It's just, you know, the, the technology hasn't fully penetrated. There's not enough Dota going on in, like, I don't know, uh, Iran right now. We need, we need to up our Dota levels a dude. little bit so we can make this happen. Dude, dude, okay. Esports will save the world. Esports Again. will save us all, yes! Okay, 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 okay. Japan. Oh, my God. Seoul. Fucking Iran, bro. Iran, dude. <laughs> Top yes. esports exporter. Exports all of the esports. Every <laughs> single one is from Iran now. In the future. Coming you know, up. 2020. Are you? I was looking into this. I had no idea. I'm going to sound like a fucking idiot to people who like know politics well. But do you guys know that Iran like wasn't even like a very conservative place, you know, respectively, until like the current administration took over like 40 years ago in like the 70s or something? Like women didn't have to like wear veils and shit all the time. But now they do because like there's like just the people in charge now change the country that way, which gives me hope that it'll change, you know, to be more liberal in the future as well. You know, uh, that'd yeah. be good. That'd be good. I don't know anything about the Middle East other than that there's oil and uh, yeah. also people. I, I know a lot about medieval Middle East, but none about uh, current shit. Uh, by the way, Hippo. I, well, that's fine. I just want, I just want, mm -hmm. to, I, I want to know if, if you also believe this, because it could seem like, be, I completely agree with you. Do you also agree that like 90% of positive change in the world currently could just come from us just like, just waiting for people to die? Just like waiting for That's the I've had, I've had that thought. Yeah. Like it's, I've had that thought, but I feel like the amount of time it would need, because like people are still being indoctrinated to the old world values by you know family members and stuff. It's not like people are all, you know, growing up being uh, better or different or but, but not very racist. much less so I think than previous incarnations of the less world. Less so, yeah. Munchie, where that's concerned, uh, it is always necessary that older generations die for certain ideas to catch on. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, like the uh, like our parents are probably less comfortable with like the amount of time we spend interfacing with computers and like this kind of stuff. So like to them, it's like a little weird, and especially like two or three generations before them, they find it very strange that all this interpersonal communication is going on. And you know, maybe it's bad for humans in some way, but like it's just the way that that culture is going. It's inevitable. Uh, so like that transformation is happening, and like we're the generation that's comfortable with that. However. As technology evolves, as we're getting older, we're getting into our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, etc. Like, things like, like VR that, like, plug us into virtual worlds. Like, it is a distinct possibility that guys like us will all, we're all already too old to, like, really understand that shit from birth. And, like, we will be the, the old codgers who are like, oh, I don't understand this. Like, this is weird. And so already, oh, yeah. like, things are being developed that we are not prepared for and that we will need to die in order for, like, the, the society as a whole to absorb it and, like, process it and be able to, you know, use I mean, it as effectively as it can be. So that's absolutely a pos like, a, not well, every human is not able to just change everything about what they believe. Sometimes you just gotta die uh, for the I culture agree. to evolve. Exactly uh, that's, mm -hmm. yeah. that's just a technology, though. Is there a, an example you can think of of, like, an ideology oh, ab like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Religion is, I mean, is a huge yeah, one right yeah, there. Yeah, that's exactly like, what I was about know. to say, Nate. I, really, right. like, most millennials aren't fucking religious. I, a None of my friends know even who a god is. Yeah. They haven't ever yeah. even and if seen I, one. When I see a millennial talking about God, I execute that millennial yeah, because exactly. they're corrupting. <laughs> the, you know, I, this I, is just what I do every day. I take those motherfuckers out windmill style, you know, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Swing my arm around very fast. That's windmill very style. Fast. Very fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't even know, dude. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I, they're, they're also, just like every. Like, Everyone in the government soon, like they're mm -hmm. all like they're all like one hundred years old. Just like in a couple years, they'll be dead, and we'll be able to be. Our free. government is like the oldest it's ever been. I mean, yeah. people live longer, but like the people in office, like like I, I was just listening to this the other day. I believe it's like Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. And, like, whoever else. Like, these are, like, the leaders are, like, the Democrats and, like, yeah, the Senate yeah. and the House uh -huh. or something. Yeah. They are all, like, over 70. And yeah. that's, like, that's really, that, really that's fucking still, old. That's still, like, 10, 20 years. Like, I feel like... It, well, that's, like, the danger that they'll just stay there for another 10 years. Like, like these people are not going to understand new ideas. But the thing There's is, a reason why I, young people push out old people, you yeah. know? I, I know, but, like, I feel like... The, mm -hmm. the old people will try to, to cultivate younger people to take their place, and that's been going on forever, and it will continue to go on. I'm not saying things can't change. I'm saying mm -hmm. it's not just going to be as simple as, oh, once they're dead, there's no one who wants to take their place who is also evil. 
you're right about that, but, like, a generation doesn't last that long at its longest. So maybe, like, 20 years. So, like, it's true. Like, people like Nancy Pelosi, let's say that they groom, you know, to be, like, the new leader in the of the Democrats in the Senate. Pizzagate. Someone, you know, like her. Yeah, <laughs> Pizzagate. Uh, uh, they, they, they bring in people that are like her, but just because they're younger and the culture itself is changing, it's inevitable that little changes creep in just as this process goes along. And some of them are major. Like, like the whole gay marriage question flipped o over, like, the course of, like, one year. Yeah. From, like, outlawed to completely legal in everywhere in the United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, like, it's, it's, I mean, that, you know, was building up for a long time. But it, sometimes things like that can happen that quickly. And uh, it's just, you know, really the, the people can force their representatives to do what they want when they just, like, make their voice heard about what they really fucking want people to do. Uh, okay, but we're totally off topic here. And I did want to bring up one issue directly about the military that we haven't talked about. So I, for one, was doing a lot of praising of, like, the men and women in, in, in the uniform. Mm -hmm. But I did want to bring this up because I feel like a lot of people talk about this uh, when they're talking about the military, especially on the left. So, like, okay, so the military's job basically is to kill people who are doing bad things. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about people who join the military so that they have an excuse to kill people. Mm -hmm. Same with, like, the police force or, you know, like, I I'm actually bringing it up as, like, do you think it's maybe good that we have that as an outlet for mm. people who just really want to fucking kill people. And, uh. like, we, we have two choices. We can, like, institutionalize them uh, and keep them away from society in some way, or we can put them to work, killing the people we don't want around. And I'm not saying wars are justified, just, like, you know, we shouldn't just kill people who are bad. But if we can fight, like, I'm, I'm just going to say, if you're an ISIS, you should die. Mm. So I'm totally cool with you people well, all okay. being sacrificial lambs offended, to make our murderer that, population Here, happier. That's what I'm saying. Here's where I find like the general difference between UK and US okay. armies that I've, that I've seen from various documentaries and, 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 and various, mm -hmm. I don't know. It may be propaganda, I may be talking out of my butthole, <laughs> but... Stop getting trying to get me to join the British military, Gib, god damn it. It's, it's just, there's this feeling of like, if they want to kill people, why not put them in, in, you know, with a gun? Uh, which I don't, I don't like as an idea because mm -hmm. you shouldn't enjoy killing. Uh, and if you do, sure. you're more pr you're more likely to you know you're more likely to be fucked up in the head and make a, a bad decision and get someone else killed, or like um, you know the military has to be a tightly run ship. You need to be you know right. all properly coordinated and communicating and, and doing your job as you're told. Because if you don't, uh, you know whoever makes the plan, if that plan doesn't go right because some you know asshole on the field is just deciding, <laughs> oh wait, I can get him, I can get him. Yeah, shooting guns, pew, 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 pew. yeah, and then yeah. the whole operation is fucked, and you know you, it, it leads to other deaths or or casualties or or losing ground or or uh -huh. you know, losing position. It's like I feel like point. people who are fucked up in the head enough to want to kill a lot of people should just become hunters and shoot deer or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's right. it, it's not really a place because in the military, I feel obviously like discipline it, is the most important. Discipline, thing. yeah, yeah, that's the word I couldn't think of the fucking the whole time. <laughs> discipline, I feel, is the most important. You can't you can't go you can't go to war and be like a like a guy with a club. If you got a gun, you got to aim right. Well, let me, you know, I just think some people in their nature have a killer instinct, and uh, I, I guess I, game. like, and that's a, that's a good, like me, you know, I just kill, I kill millennials, that's yeah. my thing, I'm the millennium killer, that's, that's me, uh, I am the Zodiac killer also, yeah. uh, I, I I don't even know what I'm saying. That like it's good that there's a place for people to go if they want to kill people. I don't know. I guess that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's better than not having that. I just I don't think everyone with a killer instinct is an evil person necessarily. There are good ways yeah. you can channel that. I, I guess that's my point. I don't I don't even know. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't I don't think a good way to because like you can give them like therapy uh -huh. that, that that can make outlets for them. They could. Maybe if they really like hitting things, they could be like a a mm -hmm. guy who uh, a junk Fucks guy who smashes junk yeah. junk uh, into <laughs> cubes with his sure. bare fists, or maybe he, maybe he could pick up drumming and just go wham wham wham, and and he could be a better person through you know something other than uh -huh. getting a gun and killing a human being. Like like I said, hunting okay. like okay. like that is a thing that people can do. Mm -hmm. It's killing, but it's like regulated and and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I hear what you're saying. I guess I'm really just, like, approaching the idea of, like, I feel like if we had a bunch of hardcore lefties on this show, what they would bring up is, like, that they don't like the military. I, I hear this from people like Jimmy Dore, 
uh, they they freak out about like people are in people are cops or in the military because they want to hurt and kill people and they like that feeling of control that it gives them. Um, I don't know. Like, you I think, think that's, that's a serious common. thing? You think that's like a big deal? I don't I, think it's I, a big I deal. I think it's I think it's 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 a kind of an unavoidable problem. Uh huh. Because you're giving people power, and there's obviously going to be yeah. people that are want to abuse it, and you you know, there's not much you can do about it except like having stricter training and making sure right, people right. who who are prone to to abusing power get weeded out early on or mm-hmm. or banned or, or stuff. I don't know. I I feel like if you give a police officer a gun way too early before you know whether he's going to shoot some guy. Right. Or if same thing with the military. If you give a guy a gun before you know that he's not going to just shoot some random kid cuz he's brown. Mm-hmm. Like well, I'm not I'm not going to get into the race thing, but like, you know. Mm-hmm. Some guys just uh-huh. like kill, killing. And I Maybe, think yeah, yeah. you should you should do it uh, properly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't want to be. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not. A, I'm not a gay. I'm not gay, guys. I'm not a <laughs> cuck. I'm not a lefty. Oh no, I'm. Oh, gay. it doesn't matter. It's fine. No, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, oh, hey, it's, let's, it's, let's it's just the thing address. I f- it's, it's the thing uh-huh. I feel like. Like I don't. I don't. You, you don't like? Yeah, I think I understand. I don't want to be a world peace faggot because I know yeah. it can't happen. People yeah, like I mean, war. I want people like fighting. I like. You know, the fact that war is cool is is the reason it's going to continue. You know what I've been thinking but, about recently? Uh-huh. I've just been thinking about how I, I tend to spend a lot of the time in the theoretical realm when I'm talking about my weird utilitarianism and shit. I think I'm going to try to incorporate more of, like, r- present-day realities into the things that I'm thinking about. I'm just going to try. I don't know if it's going to work out, but that that's kind of why I wanted to talk mostly about, like, the, the military right now. Because, like, I guess ideally a military would be, like, Starfleet, and, like, those people are, like, full-time employed oh, as, like, da, da, explorers. Shut up, shut up, shut I'm just, up. I'm, get... no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just you saying. You said like... immediately going back to Star Trek. Well, uh, just to make a goddamn point about what I'm not going to talk about as much. Oh, fuck this. All right, let's... <laughs> no, I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you understand. Like, uh, what I like about them is, like, their military, like, has another job that they do the full, like, all the time. They are explorers. But then, like, when there's a conflict... You know, that's when like they're called yeah. in to you know defend and shit. I, I, okay, I well, let's talk about well, one more. I, you know, well, let's talk about one more question. Hold, hold, oh, wait, hold, what were you hold, saying? Hold on, hold on. I just realized okay. the military shouldn't be a Star Trek. It should be all like Star Wars Battlefront no. two. Every single <laughs> like like they're just a, bu- a bunch of stormtroopers on each side, <laughs> and then and then once they get enough points, the one of them can turn into Darth Vader, and then, and then <laughs> yeah, the push. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so true. It's that is what it is currently. <laughs> now, right now, after he said that, Obama was like, "Oh my god, we should get this guy on the phone." If if you if you're a soldier, you kill like 15 people, you turn into Barack Obama. Yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then you do the whole the smash. You get Jedi Force. <laughs> yeah. You go down. You use your fucking Nobel Peace Prize noble phantasm and just decimate everyone with love gay beams. All right, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, okay, um, let's talk about one more question about this issue. Okay, what do you got? Here we go. Topical alert. Boo, oh, no. boo. We got the trans community Is banned it Gal from serving oh in the military. Oh. Trump did it. What do you think? Um, Verdict. Well, uh, from what I hear, Get rid the of whole him. thing... <laughs> from what I hear, the the issue was that people, trans people, they mm-hmm. they go into the military. Some of them do to yeah. get um the free surgery to to change gender. Otherwise, okay. it would cost a lot. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the reason. But obviously, people are taking it as like uh, Trump hates trans people, and he just for no reason decides to ban them from the military. And they yeah. are they're people, soldiers too. And people I, I mean I, have constantly I, taken the worst possible reading of anything Trump does yeah. as like what it must mean. But yeah. So so I guess if you know if those things about people abusing the system are correct, mm. then I get I feel like it's 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 probably like drastic to ban all trans people. I guess yeah, yeah. if you're if you if you have like if you're had already surgery, post op and you just want to serve, it's like yeah, yeah or yeah, or, yeah. or you could ban like the usage of of military sp- funding for your surgery and stuff. Yeah. And it could be very specific surgeries that you could have, like uh, getting a new arm if you lost it, like stuff like that. Sure. Banning them, I don't know. It's obviously, you know, a thing that's getting people riled up. But I don't see too much of a problem with it, um, uh, except for the fact that people are fucking pissed. 
You know what's interesting about it to me? I think it might actually be a distraction tactic because it's so random that Trump might have just done it to make people forget all the other shit that's going on, like the Russia investigation and shit. Mm -hmm. He actually just did it because he thinks it would, like, make people talk about that a lot. And, like, he's willing to, you know, just whatever, take whatever heat comes from that to just distract yeah. people from the other shit. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too, uh, you know, Trump politic, yeah. literate, yeah. knowledgeable. It's kind of so, it's inevitable um, that that comes really up can't. a little bit when we talk about this shit. I don't. Yeah, I, I think basically we're all going to agree. Like banning them across the board. Like, what is that? It doesn't really seem like the right policy. Like, there's probably some awesome trans people who really want to be fucking well, warriors. That, 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 and that's the thing. Chief among them is it. Shovel Knight from from fa from famous video yeah. game Shovel Knight. Oh yeah. no! Oh, my, you my ruined favorite military it, boys. was ruined. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, but like. <laughs> yeah, the the tr the thing about the the Trump thing is like it was a tweet that he sent out that said that Trump yeah, was no longer allowed the, in the military. Dude, yeah. the the generals no, no, were no, like, no, no, "Whoa, the, whoa! You didn't talk to us about this first, no, dude. No, no, you no, just no. tweeted it." Not not that, not that. But uh -huh. like the idea is that he tweeted it, but his po actual policy, like in writing, might be different and might be actually less extreme than what he said. Okay, well here, if which that's is, the true... It may be the case a lot of the time, but I, if, nobody if cares to look it up. That's the thing. If that's true, though, he should just shut his fucking fat face and just, like, deliver it properly the first time and avoid yeah. the shit, unless the whole point of it is to distract and enrage people. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe that's actually what he's... I don't, I, I don't fucking know. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about Trump. He's a well, fucking bum. Well, I have an actual other military topic. Uh, like oh, Lord, topic. okay. It's, it's not <laughs> oh, a big one. It's just, like, Lord. the idea... <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's, How dare you bring that into this sacred podcast? Okay, go on. It's it's the idea of the spending of the budget. Of oh the whole yeah, government. okay. The okay. Military budgets. I think we can all agree are fucking ridiculous because they of eat the fact up such a massive amount of the budget. It's ridiculous. Enough. It's it's really just because of the way budgets work. Yeah. Um, the one year they say, okay, well, we need some more fighter jets. So, you know, we've developed this new fighter jet, we're going to build a hundred of them, and it's going to cost this many billion. And, you know, we build them, and then the next year, well, in order to have that amount of funding for this year, we need to spend that many billion again, yeah. otherwise we, we won't get it the next year. And we need that funding because we're used to it now, and we don't want to not have it. So they just uh, make, uh, you know, so, like, they, they just make more shit. That's yep. never gonna get used because they don't need that many extra sh jets. There's but they so keep much making waste, them. so much fucking waste. Yeah, I'm looking at. And I pulled up a pie graph. I just hate right? the way I hate yeah. the way budgets work. Why do they work like that? Every single thing that's wrong is because budgets work on that basis. That if you don't spend it, you don't get as much next time. Oh, I like this. You're talking about all the right things now. Yeah. Yes. These are these are solvable problems theoretically. That's what I want to talk about. I pulled up a pie chart of American uh, discretionary spending for the entire government in 2015. $1.11 trillion. So $1.11 trillion. The military budget, 54% of all spending was in the military, $598.5 billion. That's too much money. That's too, it's, it's, I mean, it's more than half. It's more than half. Fucking food and agriculture is 1% of the budget. Transportation, 2%. Social security, unemployment, and labor is 3%. And people are screaming about how social security is like killing the American budget. Meanwhile, fucking military, 54% of the entire fucking budget. Science, all science, 3%. 3% of the fucking budget. What is this? What is this bullshit? All right. You know, this it's, is not good. This is not good, guys. No. We got to fix this shit. We I got to do look something. Up the, the UK budget thing for that because I don't, I've never really looked it up. All I know about it's probably is less than America's. America's we're crazy. We're mm -hmm. crazy. Well, like, like a percentage shit. wise, it probably, it might, it might be around the same. I mean, America, okay, to be fair, America has unique responsibilities because, like, we are strategically placed with our military, like, throughout the world mm -hmm. in a, like, stabilizing fashion. Like, that, that is true, so, like, it makes sense that we would put more into it. But, like, Jesus Christ, I hear $598 billion, and, like, you know how much it would take to, like, make, uh, like, state college uh, free? It'd be like, it's it's like a couple billion or something. And like everyone could go to college for free. That's like not even 1% of the budget. 
oh, it's fucking nuts. And like they argue endlessly that there's no way to take money away from this. Mm -hmm. You could just look at this and you know that's not true. You know it's not true. I, I want to know your opinion, Nate. Uh -huh. Do you, sure. what is your opinion on the U.S. being like an intervention, like just fucking, like like going around yeah, the globe and just yeah. kind of in, like intervening and shit? What do you think about that? Well, I don't like that we're being a bunch of fucking globalists, probably using Photoshop to yeah. make all our goddamn logos and shit. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Amer uh, American flag made in Adobe. A thing, <laughs> oh, disgusting. <That's> Let's <laughs> go fuck yourself. Uh, wait, I think that was her name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, um, I can't say that I like it, but like, I get it. Like America's got its shit together when it comes to just like, I don't know, like building its economy. I mean, okay, this is getting less true over time as we go, but mm -hmm. like for a while there, like after world war two, America just had its shit together oh, yeah. better than anyone else perfect. in the world by far. Mwah. Yeah, it was great. It, it was really, really good at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and, you know, th those those legacies continue. But, like, things like us jumping out of the fucking climate, the Paris Climate Agreement, uh, are, like, kind of fucking with our position there. Trump, get your shit together. Uh, okay, in terms of, like, being interventionist, like, the the, the super lefty uh, position is to say, like, no, nah, just, like, leave everybody alone, dude. Like, what are you doing going into these countries and, like... I don't know, like, the fucking... I, I don't know anything about, like, world events, really, but, like, there was some genocides that, like... like oh, didn't we invade Libya or something under Hillary Clinton? And, like, why did we do that? I under don't know. Uh, uh, under President Hillary Clinton. Yeah, yeah, during her tenure, yeah, back in, like, 2008 or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or, I don't know, like, 2007 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, okay, that's that's not good. Oh, no, it wasn't... No. That was under fucking Bush. Or whatever. It was sometime recently, we invaded Libya or something. Hey. Like, lots of people died. I don't know why we did it. Uh, I have no fucking awareness of these things. Okay, but, like, Iraq, right? Okay, Iraq's, like, the obvious one. We invaded Iraq for literally no good reason in terms of, like, what we said we were doing it for. Mm -hmm. Like, there was all this cover about, like, it's got something to do with weapons of mass destruction or, like, Osama bin Laden's there. Like, it was, it was like, two years after 9-11. And ultimately, it was completely unrelated. And we were, like, fed all this bullshit. And, like, okay, I just recently looked into this shit. Fucking Dick Cheney, vice president under under fucking the, you know uh, George Bush w. w, he was like okay this is gonna again be super obvious to anyone who knows anything but I'm a baby boy I just learned that he worked for, I believe it was like he was like the the CEO of Halliburton or like a really high ranking guy at Halliburton which is a defense cr contractor that was given contracts to go fucking fight in the Iraq War like. Yeah. Like, what? this is, like, the most obvious thing I've ever heard now that I'm aware of the facts. Like, they just started a war so they could make money and then, like, take the oil and shit. It just, it just obviously benefited the people who made the decision to engage so obviously. I don't know how the fuck they got away with it or people didn't make this clear to me sooner. I blame everyone else for me not knowing this fact. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I might even be, I don't know for 100% it was Halliburton, but it, it was, like, something like that. Like, that's fucked up, dude. Like, what the... Okay, whatever. I'm not going to go into it anymore. But that's not uh, good. Yeah. Okay, things like that are yeah. not good. The only time America should do any kind of interventionist thing is, like, if we're, like, asked to give help to, like, a country that's, I don't know, like, fighting against, like, an internal terrorist organization or something, like, okay, obviously that's, like, a thing that makes sense. If there's a civil war going on somewhere, like, like in fucking uh, Syria right now, mm -hmm. like, it's a mess, and it's not clear which side is, like, better, but, like... I could see why we should, like, do something about that situation. We shouldn't... Okay, like, I don't think it's America's responsibility to be world police or, like, manage the whole fucking world. But, like, I mean, at the very least, to be cynical about it, we could at least, like, protect our investment in the world mm -hmm. and, like, try to make sure the world around us doesn't fucking fall apart. And we can still yeah. continue to, like, do trade and, you know, be a, be a healthy member of the world economy and make sure that the people we trade with aren't, like... First of all, like, are able to, like, actually have materials that we can trade with and get, get us things that we want mm -hmm. and, you know, utilize their population to, to make goods and services that we need. But then also, like, we can – and then we can worry about, like, the humanitarian thing. Like, okay, uh, maybe we, maybe let's trade with North Korea. Mm, you know, maybe we shouldn't. That guy, like, literally has gulags where he enslaves political opponents mm -hmm. who, like, do nothing against him. Like, that's not good. Well, let's, let's not do that. We should try to do something about that guy. Not to mention the fact that he's got nukes, all this other shit. I don't know. You hear what I'm saying? Like, if it's yeah. if it's in our best interest, I mean, and it doesn't hurt anyone, I mean, yeah, sure, go for well, it. Like, if there's a civil war that you can help end in a, in a productive way, then that sounds good. As long as it doesn't, like, 
you know, cripple America because uh, America is good. America is valuable. We shouldn't let this place just like crumble uh, so that we can like help people who are not as well off as America because America is one of the America is like Apple or like Elon Musk or one of these like tech con- tech giants that like because we're doing well the whole world is doing well or or better and we can provide things to the entire world that improve life for everyone you know mm-hmm. fucking smartphones uh, j- just technology in general uh, you know there's things that we did bad Rap as well music. but but Rap music, exactly. Uh, Afro American culture that we is our number one export. Gotta love that. The only thing uh, we export, in fact. <laughs> yeah, it's great. That's mm-hmm. just yeah. Like uh, I mean, that's why that's the thing with like countries like Sweden that are literally cucking themselves uh, mm-hmm. out of their country just to like they're so sorry that they're white. They're so sorry that they're fucking white, and they just want to they just want to give up and hand their fucking country to like. Anyone who'll take it. And right now, that's a lot of Middle Eastern people. And, like, they're just making their country uh, shitty. They're making it worse. There's, like, rape gangs. And uh, uh, I don't know I don't know the full facts, okay? I, I admit fully I don't know all the full facts. But, like, yeah, ser- Sweden is, like, a number one place that wants to cuck itself. Because it's, it's, it's so liberal, it feels bad about even doing well at all when there's people out there who are suffering. And they don't understand the way that, like, economics work. Whereas, like, it's not like if you're doing well, you're taking things from other people. You are just, you're, you're making yourself better off. And that, and then if you trade with other people in a consensual way, you can help them too. That's, like, the basis of economic growth. Uh, just in general yeah. and, and they commerce. They should have just tried selling IKEA furniture to the <laughs> Exactly, Middle East. exactly. That'll uh, frustrate them. I, I'm. You I, shouldn't. You shouldn't undermine. Just, just to finish my point. You shouldn't undermine your own ability to be productive or helpful. And you know, maybe I'm exaggerating what that's like in Sweden. Uh, but the, you know, they've got other issues. Like they're 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 a big uh, welfare state that I I hear. I don't know this for sure. I hear is crumbling there. Um, like they're just taking out too much. Fuck. They can't afford it. They're too socialist. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's what I've been hearing. And I'd, I'd be interested to look into it more and hear what people have to say about it. You 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 can't take on everyone's burden all the time. You gotta look out for yourself. You, everyone every man has a responsibility. Every person has a responsibility to take care of their own shit. And then once you've got that just in order, then you can worry about helping other people. Mm-hmm. And America, you know, has had its shit together for a while. You know, maybe it's getting a little you shaky know? or whatever. But it'd be nice to help people if we yeah, can do that without fucking it's, ourselves. It's just like in Minecraft when when you're building <laughs> when you're building. You know, you go out and in, into mm-hmm. a server and you're like, well, these guys need help, but I need to build my house first so I'm safe for the night. So yeah. I'll do that first. I'll I'll. I'll I'll worry about my shit, and then I'll go help when I that, know that I have I a safe place. Uh-huh. Now I now, understand. Now it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think, and I'm not uh-huh. totally, you know, uh, solidified in this, but I, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm toying with that. Maybe we should, well, like, you know, I, I don't really like the intervention, and I think that mm, maybe sure. sometimes it's better for the world if we just let them toil and, like, not police and just let, you know... Uh, the, Dude, the let me tell you. Change and like let people die and like let you know because that, because yeah, it, it, like we always dude, go dude. to war. Yeah, yeah, what? Oh, okay. I'm just saying like that is exactly what Star Trek, this big mm-hmm. lib cuck show. That is what the Prime Directive is all about, mm-hmm. and they grapple with this issue all the time. And it's about how. Like, all the time, when, like, the fucking, uh, you know, whatever, the Westerners came to America, uh, and they fucking took it over, like, they just fucked those people over. Like, you Mm. can't just integrate yourself into a society that you are, or, like, the conquistadors in South America. They fucked that place up. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, you cannot just invade a place and expect them to, like, immediately accept, like, the things you're bringing them. You have to let people develop independently. Mm -hmm. And if you you can get involved with them in, like, a small way, because, you know, we're all all on Earth. It's not like in Star Trek where you can just avoid a planet entirely. You know, then you can, you know, slowly work to bring people, you know, into the fold where you are. But... Like, like even Star Trek, a big lib cuck show, acknowledged, like, yes, we absolutely have to let some people die in order for this society to grow itself and us to not completely really, fuck it up. Yeah. I really think the main thing that's, mm-hmm. that's making, like, America and other Western countries like, Great again? intervene in, in, oh, okay. in, in, in <laughs> political stuff all uh-huh. over the world 
is that uh, one, it's PR, like we're showing like, oh yes, we're such a great nation that we'll help other people because we're so powerful and mm -hmm. you shouldn't fuck with us because we, we have the power to spend on, on helping other countries fight their wars or, or whatever. Uh -huh. um, you know, there's that, there's the, the show of like, we're the best, we can do all this cool shit. Um, but there's also like the idea that if you don't intervene in certain places, they may be taken over by people who you really don't want to be in power. Like, let's say, just, you know, the, sure. the general idea is like, oh, well, if we don't help the right side of win this war that's going on over here, right. uh, there may be another North Korea emerging in the future, and we mm -hmm. don't want that. Mm -hmm. We don't even want the possibility of that. We want to make sure whoever wins the war is on our side and they like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. In in the in the beginning, so I see why they do it. In the beginning of North and South Korea, South Korea was eating shit. And North Korea was doing pretty fine, not you know great. Mm, okay, uh, but like it, it, so so that's how they got the head start, and now they're fucking insane. I mean, you know, they're always insane. They're always communists, but you get know what I mean. They mm -hmm. were doing fine for themselves economically speaking, somewhat at least. Is it just because they had such ties with China? Yeah, they were yeah, just relying yeah, on that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and and so that's why I find like uh, like having just another North Korea. Seems Seems pretty far fetched to me because okay, just uh, obvi take the obvious example, Middle East. Some fucking you know Syria, I guess Syria just becomes a, a fucking super Al Qaeda. Their 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 exploit is sure. now 9/11. So that's their primary. <laughs> okay, <exploit>. right. <laughs> uh, I don't that that government just will not last. Like like e that, that just will not last that long because it's built upon you know crazy shit that has no like it has no grace period of like being a good quote unquote country. It just starts out shit and it will be continue to be shit. Probably be it'll probably be on the map for like you know ten years or something, but it will eventually yeah, crumble. Yeah. And I, I'm always thinking about things in like like decades span. You know, you're absolutely right about that. Mm -hmm. It's just like like North Korea really wasn't that big a deal at first after yeah. the Korean War, and it was just that like. You know, we just left it alone. Like, we knew they were doing crazy shit over there, but mm -hmm. we just left them alone because, like, you know, they, China's got their fucking back. What are we going to do? They, mm -hmm. they got that shit covered. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's just over time, they just got crazier and crazier, and, like, we, we, we still didn't address the problem. And now we're at a point where they're, like, really close to having, like, the ability to launch nukes against, like, the western coast of the fucking United States. Mm -hmm. And they can already do it to South Korea if they fucking want to. Um, Let alone and, like, it's Japan. Just, Jesus. Yeah, J Japan too is within their range, I think. So like that's that's not good. That's not fucking good. Yeah. Um, and also like yeah. like the whole rise of of you know Nazi Germany. Like they they started taking yeah. over a few places, but because they just had a huge war, everyone was like, eh, we shouldn't really get involved. Hitler was uh, on the cover of Time magazine. Shit. Or Hitler was man of the year twice, as I recall. Once because he was the best guy ever and they loved him, and second because he was the worst guy ever and he, they didn't like him anymore. Yeah, and they loved him as well. Yeah, <laughs> they thought it was he. They really liked his SS uniforms. They mm -hmm. Really. By the way, uh, j before you know, we end. We're going uh, to questions we'll after this, so don't worry. But yeah, yeah. yeah go on. Uh, we got. I, I looked up the 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 whole um, British uh, budget spending on. Oh, stuff. good, good. Remarkably different. Uh, the the total spending is like seven hundred sixty two billion mm -hmm. pounds. Uh, defense budget is only forty four billion. Wow. Okay. So like, um, like we're like more than ten times more. Yeah, education is like double. Uh, we're healthcare. ten times more. You fucking pussy. You little bitch. <laughs> hey. You don't even invest. In fucking see that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go uh, can't even fucking keep 100... Hong Kong. What the fuck, <laughs> asshole? Yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> uh, the, the healthcare is like 138 billion, so I can see why people are like, uh -huh. you know, fuck that shit. Yeah, because it's it's generally okay, but it's it's pretty fucking expensive, and uh, it doesn't work very well for a lot of people. Like, I, I understand, like, a lot of liberals, just, like, they look at this graph and they think to themselves, like, Jesus Christ, like, my life is fucked right now. Like, imagine if I had had, like, a free college education instead of, like, having to, you know, do whatever I had to do and the, not of the student debt. Like, wouldn't that be great? And they're just looking at this budget. They're, like, looking at all these billions of dollars just being thrown away. And they're, like, I just want me a piece of that. I want me a fucking piece of that so I can, like, square my life away. Uh, you know, and maybe it's maybe it's a reasonable request. Like, if I just hadn't had to take out these student loans, I wouldn't have gone under financially. Blah blah blah. But um, you know, the, the only thing is, I don't really have a lot of sympathy for people who feel that, unless they really are in a bad way. And I know I was totally privileged in my life, but I just like just take responsibility for your shit. Take responsibility for your own life. 
You gotta find your way out. This is the situation you're in, everybody. So just don't cry about it, don't bitch and moan, and feel free to, uh, to, to campaign for what you think are like fair laws. If you wanna make college free for everybody, like, hey, go for it. Campaign all you want, no problem. But like, accept the reality of the life that you have and, and make the best of it however you can. Be financially solvent, people. Live in a tiny ass apartment like me so that you can pay off your student loans faster and then you'll be financially free. That's what I'm doing, that's what everybody should do. You know, just, just get your shit together. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying for my privileged position of a guy who had really, uh, you know, I don't know, middle middle income parents. I did just fine. Grew up in a great place. Had no major problems whatsoever. That's that's me. That's me saying all these things about how you need to get your fucking shit together. You lazy sacks of shit. That's just me. Pull that's yourself me. up by your bootstraps and exactly. then set your big <laughs> on speak, fire. Speaking of that, uh, welfare is like 113 billion. For last year, by the way, this is all last year, 2016. How much okay. is that? So, like, uh, I closed. I, I don't know. Let, let me pull it up again. Um, but like, yeah, go on. The 113. There's only three things on this. There's pensions, there's healthcare, and there's welfare, and those are all over 100 uh, billion. And defense is like it looks mm -hmm. so small. It's like 44 billion. It's like a libertarian nothing. government. Like I, I can barely even see the suspense <laughs> building. I don't see, okay, wait, there's no welfare, but it must be under Social Security, Unemployment, and Labor. Uh, that's that's a total of 3%, 29.1 20, billion, and this was in 2015. There you go. Hmm. Wait, what was and it for? My, you got for, like, it was like 170-some million for you guys? 113 billion. Uh, mil, uh, billion that is a lot more pounds, than we spent. So, well, pounds, not dollars, so that's a lot more. Y yeah, it's a lot more, and proportionally it's a lot more. Yeah, it's just a lot more. It's what do you know? more different than I would have expected. Our fucking military is just so, needs so much, such a fucking money thing. It takes up so much fucking money. Okay, whatever. Let's move on. Uh, okay, guys. Bowling we all set, for Columbine. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Whoa, 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 for soup. Whoa, 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 Wait. I love the Ottomans' old big old hats. Oh, <laughs> they get their fucking sword. Shwing! And then they got their big old fucking hat. And then they go. <laughs> That's what they say. And then they fucking kill those goddamn Let me just fucking Austrians. Gib, Gib, you need to see. I just got a picture of this hat. I'm trying to open it. <laughs> okay. Dude, I just got the picture of this fucking hat. Dude, you have to see this. No, you, you do have Google to see this. Look, I know what they look, look like. At this so look, look at this hat. Yeah, this is literally this big old hat. It's Suleiman. the biggest hat I've ever seen. That's not even a joke. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, you know why they're so big? Why? It's because that's where they keep their wives. <laughs> that's how big they Yay. smart they are. That's oh. how Islam used oh, to work. Oh, also that. Oh, 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 right, oh that by the way, also, uh, actual uh, thing. Uh, fun mm. fact. Back when World War One was, like, first starting... Uh, 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 like, uh, the, the, like, fashion-related. Uh, France, like, put on their fucking sick-ass, like, colorful uniforms. They're all, like, kind of hard-moving and also, like, colorful. And then, like, uh -huh. they were just walking up to a fucking German, uh, like, like, fort. And then the Germans could just easily spot them, like, on the fucking horizon. Just mow them down, like, one after another in machine gun fire. So, like, yeah. they, their uniforms just made them a like, big old fucking target. And just, they just fucking like massacred all of them. Just fucking <laughs> it's, it's, it's... obliterated. Is it is a time is an age gone by where where war was was like uh, civilized and you stood on one hill and you, the, with your flag and you saw the other guy and you went dur, 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 yeah. and then you walked slowly towards them and since muskets sucked you had to get real close before you could fire mm -hmm. and then they just kept doing that and the guns got better and then you, now everyone's hiding in bushes. You know when that time. changed? That mostly changed during the American Revolution, baby. Thank you, Native no. Americans, for teaching us that shit. No. What, what, what? Are what do you, you mean, no? fucking saying? That's when they, they had to fucking fight with guerrilla tactics. That was, like, considered dishonorable at the time. So, you know, like, they didn't like it, but that's how we fucking won. I, well, okay, I guess I did. I didn't, I didn't like, that's invent that. They didn't invent They that. invented it, <laughs> goddammit. We took, we culturally appropriated it from the Native Americans. I then, would uh, say the first modern war was, like... Okay. Uh, either, I would say, like, the Seven Years' War. No, not the fucking Seven Years' War. I'm, I'm gonna about, say it was Sonichu or, versus or, the Four no, Cent Garbage Building. the American building. Civil War. The American Civil War. That shit's the first good one. Yeah? The, okay. the first you good one so. since a lot of people died, and also guns were big. 
awesome. I don't know I anything like about Vietnam it. War because all the video games about it have good Vietnam music. Vietnam sucks. The video, were there, are there a lot of video games about the Vietnam War? I mean, there's a lot of uh, comics the, and movies and shit. Uh, I don't know. There's like Battlefield, Vietnam, oh, okay. Kill, Kill Chinaman, the game. They're not Chinaman. Well, there's probably a couple in there. All right, uh, that's it. All right, so we're done with military stuff. Let's. Uh, we we agreed. Uh, ten out of ten. Good. Oh, yes. say uh, can sign me you the fuck see up. <laughs> by the dawn's early light. Semper Fidelis to all our armed forces. That's right. Okay, oh, here we go. Say something. Please. Here's some, let's, let's, here's some questions. All right, here's some questions. Okay, here's here's our good buddy. At Nat Blasphemous, this guy makes a bunch of art for us. He's a cool guy. Um, would you give up content creation at least publicly if you could live wherever you wanted and have all needs provided? All needs. What do you think um, about that? Uh, I'm imagining like uh, like a really crystal clear like blue water beach uh, log house with a pier and, uh -huh. and 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 a straw hat roof. Uh, I like that, but also uh, I. I guess if all needs means everything This guy's saying everything want. you want is all taken care of pretty much, yeah. You uh, do whatever you want. Well, a fucking course. Who wouldn't give up? No, no see, see that that's where you're wrong. The answer's no. Of course yeah. not. Because if my, you're not my, doing my something, you just shrivel up and die. My need exactly, is to make content. My need exactly, is to make content. Exactly right. That's what, what I what want the, the to thing? do. You have to, gi you have to okay. give up content he, at least publicly. Yeah. So like, you could make it on your own if you wanted to, I guess, but you just wouldn't release it. It'd be like your own. I just release it under a pseudo name. Yeah. It, it, like that'd be. I, I think I would not take this. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, I I would assume that the the gist of this question is like about if you would still like give up doing this kind of work or whatever. If like you know you can do that sort of or, or you know releasing it to the public. Like I. I, I mean, no, because there'd be no point to me doing the kind of work I well, do on YouTube if people couldn't see it. Because the whole point of it yeah, is well, that people see it. I yeah. think I think what the general idea of the question is is, yeah. do you have a creative outlet that doesn't involve people watching it on YouTube? I think you're or right. On the I internet, think you're right. I don't. And I would nope. say I would say yes because mm -hmm. I like sculpture. I like the idea of building sculptures. If I had like plenty of money and and no reason to. To worry about shit, I would just, I would make Easter Island. I would buy an island. I would be on an island, and I would make sculptures. And then when I'm dead, people will be like, "What the fuck happened here?" He he, he also he says mm. like all creative content whatsoever, though, right? He said content creation. Yeah, so that's but he said everything. he said he, well he said he said publicly. So like you could do it on your own if like Why you could see it. Why the fuck yeah. would I, would, I, would make just, it I don't not fucking know. people statues? I would I would build cool fucking statues well, all okay. over an island until I'm dead. And then, then people will find them. And if people that, find them, it's not public. My, in my head, the whole time. That wouldn't be public. That would be like invasion of private property. Yeah, let's okay. let's just say nobody can find it for whatever um, reason. Okay, it's, well, it's gay. Uh, no, uh, I uh, like making things and people would see because yeah, I want I people like to validate me. me. I agree completely. Well, all my needs met includes a human being, so like the the, the you know company. Like I wouldn't want to live on my own forever. That's just generally shit. Okay, we're, we're just talking about the content creation. You can just still be out and talk to people and whatnot. Uh, you this know, is a dumb question because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't no really make any say. sense. That's okay. Like, That's would you, a good would boy. you like everything except the one thing that you also like? Like, I, I'd like everything that <laughs> yeah. I want. I'd like everything and, and that to mean everything, not j everything minus... F fuck you. I'm lost in the woods on this one. Okay, let's go to another question here. Uh, at Reed or Daryl asks, what are your thoughts on the announcement for the a American live-action TV show adaptations for One Piece, Cowboy Bebop, and SAO? Is that God, real? Who TV gives show? A fuck about any uh, of what Cowboy that guy just Bebop said. may actually be good because it's already pretty Western-ish. I mean, that's, like that's I true. I could see that that making a, a neat transition. One Piece, uh, garbage instantly. I know it will be. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I've yeah, seen yeah. I've seen cosplayers. White people cannot look like those characters at all. I don't think anyone can in real yeah. life. They're too cartoony. I just don't want to see that. No, shit. I, I've seen I've seen a pretty good. I've I've seen a pretty uh, like a few pretty good looking Japanese men being Sanji and mm, like, yeah, yeah, I guess that's they fair. They pulled that off. But they like, imagine that imagine that like job. someone trying to be Frankie. Just picture it. Like, no, no, it can't be done. It cannot be done. Well, anyway, you I, know I think what this they, is all like, garbage. It's like a super Mar oh, we all talk. Okay, the same go, Gib. What were you saying, Gib? 
I was going to say it's like the Super Mario Brothers movie where Bowser's just a guy. Well, that was cool because it was so fucking weird. But, I mean, <laughs> at the time, I was very confused. But, like, that's what I'm imagining. It'll be like, oh, it's a guy, but he's got, like, tattoos of stars on his hands. I don't even... Is this legit? Buff. Like, TV shows of Cowboy Bebop, SAO, and One Piece? They're getting TV... Like, I heard about the Cowboy Bebop movie. Like, that was a thing. A TV show? Is this real? Where is he getting this news? I don't know. I'm just going to assume I, that it's correct. I did I did hear the One Piece. I did hear the One make, Piece one, yeah. A TV thing. That's the one I did hear. Uh, Luffy, nah, gonna I'm going to enroll in high school. I hope you want to join the football team with me. I would love nothing more than that. God, <laughs> Jesus the thing, Christ. The only thing that will make this good if we've got Mumkey D. Luffy on the team. Exactly. Let's bring him in. I, I like the idea that it's not just a high school setting. But it's a high school setting where it's just like he is. He's just into football. Yeah. Like, yeah. Kind of like the, oh, kind of like those. Uh, it's those always side the stories. nerd character that it's about. Yeah. Remember the, when? The remember that one? Like the sometimes Oda will do like a, a little side thing where he tells like a, a like a three page story about like alt universe straw hats. Mm -hmm. Remember the one where Luffy was like a super studious student and all he wanted was to like get into like the number one school in the country and he was like that was his like pirate king thing like be uh, the best student and get into this school like that's know. you know is that that's doable? I you don't remember that, that one? I don't That's think where I've, Shanks I've was like their those... teacher, and he just told them to be degenerates and like not worry about it. <laughs> Are you talking about like the the, the little uh, pages of like question and answer things? It, no, they they weren't the SBS. Like so Oda's done a couple of these like stories where it's just like all the care all the Straw Hats are like different characters in like a different world. Like there's one where they're all mm. literal family members, and like you know Zoro's the dad, oh, Brooks the old man. Oh, I'll have to link you. Yeah, they're great. They're really really uh, it's good. It's me, Luffy. I'm looking at the. Oh, I bumped shoulder with some guy. I uh, get out of my fucking way. God, this is a fucking nerd. Uh! Oh my god, that was another member of my fucking anime crew. We're gonna bond no! now in detention. Oh no. Jesus what a nightmare! Christ. How okay, much? let's move on. This is this topic is killing Munchie. <laughs> let's <laughs> move on. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Um, Benjamin Whistle at Benjamin Whistle asks, "What game have you played the most? Would you say it's your favorite?" Uh, Undertale. By far, <laughs> Team Fortress yeah. Two. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google search how many. How, how many how of them? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna no, say I... the game I've played the most, without a doubt, is uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy, the first one for PSP. I played that game every night, four hours, four years, Jesus. every day, and I it was the greatest. Oh. I am a real Final Fantasy fan, guys. All right, I love Final Fantasy. It's my favorite, and this was everything I ever wanted finally made real. Hey guys, uh, it's yeah, me, Dan. I love Final Fantasy. <laughs> Please don't beat me up after school. <laughs> Damn, I hate that guy. I'm gonna beat him up after yeah. school. He sounds like a bitch. Uh, yeah, th th that that game. Would it, is it my favorite? No, but it is really really good, and I loved it. And uh, there's a new I'm one coming out for PS4 for soon. Like, yeah, oh my with Ramza, God. fucking Ramza. Okay, but I'm sorry. Bye now. Ramza one half. Hey, the exactly. game I've played by far the most of Team Fortress Two, two thousand mm -hmm. six hundred seventy two hours on record. Uh, wow. First played that in like 2012, I think. Early 2012. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's one of my favorite games. Maybe not my favorite, but yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, like top five, I would say. I love Team Fortress 2. Too bad it's Give horrible now, and I would never fucking play it <laughs> ever, except for the times Are that I do. Are there any like legacy it servers? Sucks. No. No? no? Oh, it's just dead. It's just gone. Yeah. Well, that sucks. It's, it's uh, just Give, I'm just going to. Gib, I mean, is your is it, is it RuneScape the one you've played the most? I'm just guessing here. Is it RuneScape? Um, I would say no because mm. World of Warcraft. Mm. Uh, I would when I was into World of Warcraft, it was like, all right, I've just woken up, time to turn on computer, uh -oh. turn on World of Warcraft. I gotta play. <laughs> I gotta do it. Oh, uh -huh. I gotta get ready for school. I can I can get in 30 minutes of World of Warcraft. Oh you know? no! Oh, <laughs> it, you know that was me. The the good thing was that I it didn't affect me too much That's in good. like other aspects of my life. I was already a, a, sh a loser. Oh good. Uh, so it, it was all fine. It was all it was all meant I, to be. My, probably one of the heights of my gaming career was one day I was playing Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, and my mm -hmm. like I was just, I was just I just stayed up all night just playing it, and and uh, like I, I wasn't even like at the final boss or any like it, like you know story moment. I was just in like the fucking like just the third level, just midway through. Uh -huh. My mom knocks on the door like, "Hey, it's it's time for school. You have to go." And I open the door and I'm fucking just like crying, like, "Mom, 
I want to keep playing Mario. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> please. Oh I got on my knees. Please let me no. play Mario. Please. And she was That's like, Jesus. not healthy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And What'd she do? What'd she do? Like, sure, I guess. So you just got to stay home and play Mario this yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, just that day. And then, like, I've the, the next day, I just didn't so care. I, I just didn't that. care the next day. I was like, yeah, all right. That, you that, know what? That, I, that... I just cared so much about playing just, like, I didn't even, like, beat the game. I just continued uh-huh. to play for, like, a couple hours, and then I just shut it off. Like, for just you know, for some, some reason, I just wanted to play very badly. Those weren't were fake tears. I was legitimately crying for the, like, I just couldn't, I couldn't play Mario for, like, six hours? What the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes you know, I, I, I like I felt that before. Uh-huh. Go on, Gib. I, I felt that, th- those feelings before. It's like, like, I'm just really into something, and I, I deliberated on whether it was okay to bring my, my GBA to school, like if it, it was it really into f- playing Fire Emblem or something. I was like, ah, uh, I've, I've been playing it all night, I want to play more. Uh, could I bring it to school? No. No, the bullies will take it. Oh. I, I never I never had bullies that would take oh. things, but I, I always <laughs> felt like if I had my GBA, yeah. I wouldn't be able to bring it out during class because the teacher would take it. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't be able to bring it out during, you know, in between times because... The people would say, "What are you, a gamer?" <laughs> Kill me! Oh no, <laughs> can't take that risk. <laughs> so I never brought it to school. But there was one time when I saw a guy. He brought it to his to school. I was like, "You f- motherfucker! You're so brave. How do you do that?" You're and he so was just brave. Fun. He's the real veteran here, not the you know, these fucking <laughs> you know boys in blue. Did you did you learn from that? Yeah, you're right. Did did you learn from that? And did you bring it after that? No. <laughs> no? I brought my Game Boy to school, like, for years, every I, day. I, I was just so paranoid of, like, of, 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 of turning on the game and sitting down and then having people come over and say, Oh, what game are you playing? And then I would shrivel up and be like, I don't know. <laughs> I did worry about that, too. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that, that's what I would have said. Hey, here, okay, here's, here's a good question. Um, at Rum Raisin 7 asks, um, Why is Munchie so bad at Kirby? You know, that's a good question. Oh, that's a very no. good question, everybody. Oh, no. Let's, everyone, why? for full details, no. for full no. details, head over to it's the Procrastinator's Kirby Race. It's wrong. It it's not a real <laughs> thing. That that's what that is. That's a fake thing. It's a <laughs> fake fucking made up fact. That's Go not even the, a the true race. one that you can check with the government. <laughs> Go check out the uh, the the Kirby race, everybody. It's, it's great. Oh no. Um, okay, here we go. At least I'm uh, better than fucking got? Nate. Yeah, you. That's true. You know, that's really. It's funny that like it's just because you got more invested than me. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. you got more invested, mm-hmm. you got rocked harder. Um, <laughs> I got my dick fucking shook. Someone <laughs> yeah, wags exactly. that shit, bro. <laughs> uh, at Jip Clip C asks, why don't PCPs last for more than an hour now? Actually, I know the reason. I just want them to be longer. Well, we're already an hour and what, like 20 minutes? Yeah, we're over an hour and a half now. So I don't know what... Fuck you, dude. Uh, I think I think what it is is that uh-huh. uh, sometimes there's less people and if there's loads of people and it's a big topic yep. everyone wants to get everything in mm-hmm. but now the, when the topic sucks sometimes <laughs> it does uh, none of us have like enough to say each even if we all get a turn so well, uh, that's the, why the, the reason we got it was pretty robust it was even with three people it was still over an hour so, full yeah, disclosure we there was going to be way more people like and by way more i just mean like six or two like, or, uh, yeah, yeah five just, just yeah. Two, two more five. uh but they just didn't show up uh so we were like what are we gonna well i was i was at least i did had no idea what we were gonna talk about but this actually turned out pretty good uh, the, yeah, the, the reason though the reason though that everyone's like, oh, fucking, why are they short now? I've, I've seen that multiple places. Because on, like, the mm. past two, I think, b- both times have just been, like, we've been in the middle talking, and then it's been like, all right, done, BCP's over now, bye! I don't I don't really think we need to go on that long. I mean, we make a good product, and we wrap it up. It's, I, I'm pretty happy with how long they've been going up to now. Uh, yeah, well, but it, 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 it's just, both times I've made, a bi- I've made a big stick about Nate closing the PCP, and so they've probably been like, oh, Munchie's fucking right, we do need uh, to yeah, kill maybe right, Nate. maybe right, I don't know, I, I'm pretty, like, this one is longer than I expect it to be, and uh, I'm perfectly happy with that as well. That's, yeah, that's yeah, I'm fine to me. This. this is fine. Uh, yeah, I'm sick of this shit, I'm pretty fucking fed up, TBH. Uh, okay. Let's, let's, let's see. I got, yeah, TBH. another question? Um... 
Oh, okay. Uh, no, this question fucking sucks. Uh, okay, tell maybe you guys can tell me what this means. At Sizzgum69, our old friend oh, asks, no. can you talk about your head mates? What does that mean? The fuck is that? I don't like like oh, the people oh, who oh. live with me in my head. Is yeah, that it? yeah, yeah. You don't know you don't know what headmates are. I don't think so. Dude, I don't know the term. Dude, what's I have that, so many. Is that a fucking, tulpa? Is that a tulpa? I have so many headmates. No, no, no. They're they're like tulpas, but inside of your physical brain. Is, is it like a split personality thing? It, is that it, what it, it is? It's it's okay. So here's what you do. You pretend okay. that you're insane. <laughs> That's the first thing. Right. Pretend that uh-huh. you're insane. Then. When you when you're making your sick ass fucking forum posts that you just you know you love to make every single day, you laugh so hard making these posts that you just drop your fucking pretzels out on the ground. That those uh-huh. sick ass forum posts <laughs> while you're making those, just like in, just okay. like enter colon uh Barack Obama uh Darth Sidious <laughs> uh you know the Martian from Looney Tunes any of those guys colon yeah. just have him say something retarded. Just say that okay. in your phone post. It'll make it better. That'll be your headmate. Just pretend that those <laughs> fictional characters are inside of your brain, and they just say funny fucking quips that make everyone like you on your phone posts, guy online, Tumblr, fucking RuneScape. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, all those. Uh, yes. 4 slash co. All those nice places. Just get your fucking headmates to say some sick-ass, nihilistic, wicked sense of humor shit, um, and everyone will love you. That's yes. what headmates are. Yeah, I, I I've done this a couple times. I, I wouldn't <laughs> call it like 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 quite that intense, yeah. but like you know, every so often, like I'm walking home from school, and I'm like, I feel like talking about something, but there's no one there, so I just imagine what the possible counter arguments could be. Like a person doesn't agree with what I said, so I just argue with him, uh, and just talk in my head. Uh, they don't have different voices. They're just like saying different things, mm-hmm. like, uh, uh, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, I don't know about that. And then you know, I just go go through the motions of this thinking about it. Mm-hmm. It's usually just to to think, just a way to think through, just to imagine that there's another person that I am being, also. Is that what it is, or is it just uh, uh, I I love? Being I mean, crazy. I'm sure that's practically what it is, or you know, in a practical sense, yeah. that's what it is. Uh, to what people play. say is, is it's just the f- fictional characters live inside their brain, and then they talk to them sometimes. And 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 and, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I don't sick. I don't have characters necessarily. And and, and then sometimes, and and on on a blood moon, one of those fictional characters will take over their physical form, <gasps> and and, and, oh and then they'll become God. they'll like role play that character themselves. So like, These people are so special and impressive know, and amazing. I, know, I I wish I was as cool as uh, them. They're so cool. Vampire does, Hunter does D is part... now at the, at the front. He's at the front now. I am yes. him. <laughs> I, I like the fact that Vampire Hunter D has the has the feels the need to explain that he is. Yes, him. this incredibly quiet, reserved <laughs> character who changed my entire way I acted by never saying a fucking word <laughs> announces himself in the room. I am Vampire Hunter <laughs> D, everyone. It's me. I'm real. I'm here. Yes, that's very in character. Uh, that's the headmate, okay. dude. Uh, what, that's what the, the fuck headmate. was the, the fucking question? The the question was uh. Oh, can you talk about your headmates? Was the question. Darth Maul, he's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, the rich personality of Darth Maul really takes up a large chunk of my head space. Yeah, yeah he's got a lot to say. Let me tell you, <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. Oh, it- well, that's that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking red pilled Trump supporter piece of shit. No, no, he, that he, guy he, dude, I argue with him all, all the time about Shillery and how she needs to be fucking locked up, and he just won't. He right. just won't fucking. <laughs> he won't take any of it. He he's a big John Oliver fan. He always wants to switch the channel even when I'm trying to fucking oh, yeah. watch. You know, Sam Hyde's World Peace to get my red pill. My my swat. In. <laughs> he, just, he just won't. He just won't oh, fucking do God. it. I fucking hate you, Darth Maul. I've got Odie from Garfield. Him, uh-huh. Odie and Darth Maul do not get well together at all. They're like oil oh, and water, no. dude. They, they, they are exact. <laughs> Odie is the most MGTOW fucking like <laughs> like red pill guy you will ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> o- Odie's like uh, hard so to true. talk to because he's always making fun of Darth Maul's masculinity, and and it doesn't yeah. get pretty. 
That's understandable. Uh, and, and other than that, I have <laughs> I totally literal believe Napoleon. The Munchie actually has a lot of characters in his yeah. fucking head. Of course, of course. And uh, I, I just Napoleon Bonaparte just just hanging out. He's a military guy. <laughs> I, I should have had him come yeah. to the front of consciousness for this debate. Unfortunately, that, that would have been helpful. Unfortunately, all he does is play WoW and League, and he doesn't have time to come to the front of my uh, headspace <laughs> a lot. So you know, it's it's a real shame. Real Maybe uh, we can one day we can do like a bonus episode that's us with our headmates, you know, mm-hmm. just like being themselves. That that'd be nice. That'd be a nice episode. What what, uh, what okay. headmates do you guys have? Called hippo. Oh, good question. Uh 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 uh. uh, uh uh, uh, Gib, what do you nice, have? Nice, nice. You have Gib I in your headspace. You have a headmate of Gib. I I have uh, a hippopotamus in my head. He's big. Uh, yeah, I thought you That's had a giraffe what he in your head. Like. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, d- dra- actually, giraffe's right here. Is He's, that like is like like an off brand hippo? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I the, am I'm the hippo like a consumers. like a dollar store hippo. <laughs> yeah, voice. he's a dime store. He's the he's like the Bizarro World version. More, more of like crime the store. He's like more like criminal. more like scare store. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> what about you, Gib? What do you got? Uh. <laughs> Tell me uh, your secrets. Let me think. Uh, <laughs> you look like you got a couple of Yu Yu Hakusho characters going around <laughs> in your noggin. Just I don't know what Yu Yu Hakusho. That's is. why Yu-Gi-Oh. they didn't explain themselves. Oh, Ben, we're still recording. Get the fuck out of here. Hey everyone, Ben Saint here. Just wanted to pop in and give you all a little context on what you're about to hear. So. On the day of this PCP, we had agreed that afterwards we would all get together and hang out in the chat, in the Discord, have a little group call, have a good time. So I come in two hours after the PCP was meant to start, and I see that uh, everyone's uh, in the call. And I think, ah, surely the good times have already started. Surely my friends are just there waiting for me, waiting for me to come and join them and have a real good time. Uh, So I get in the call. And, um, well, uh, yeah, and the rest is history. So, uh, just wanted to give you that, give you that context. Um, so, uh, let's see how that plays out, shall we? Yeah, we're recording. God, you stupid asshole! You're ruining the recording! You idiot! All right. Okay, go on, Gil. What you say? You were you were telling us uh, about your Yu Hakusho I, headmates. You're yeah. telling us about yes, yes, my Yu-Gi-Oh headspace. Yu-Gi-Oh, I have, Yu-Gi-Oh right, headspace. I have in me, I have in my Yu-Gi-Oh headspace uh, <laughs> the entire cast of Beyblade mushed into one character. Uh, right. And, yes. Uh, Known have, as the Beyblade. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Beyblade. <laughs> oh uh, no, no, I have Uchiha Sasuke. Right. And um, fucking. Uh, uh, an aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> an aeroplane. <laughs> I, think, I, I think you've got a headmate that's a, an just... old World War II fighter pilot piloted by an anthropomorphic baguette from the French at Legion. Stuff in my room. Yeah. I was looking at just... the stuff in my room. It's a little aeroplane. <laughs> it's just an aeroplane. <laughs> just, like not even a fighter airplane. airplane. Not even like a ro- <laughs> like not even like a fighter plane. Just an airplane. <laughs> an airplane. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't like people flying inside him. He says you should fly on your own terms. You should fly <laughs> on your own ways. You, you should be like the bird and take wing. I'm not go. Don't go inside me. Don't go inside me. He's I'm not gay. He's a real, Uchiha Sasuke does he's a real, not care. He's a real pig tow, Planes going their own way. You know, he doesn't need their uh, these other guys. He's got his own life. He doesn't need you yeah, to make him yeah. a complete plane. Okay. There's one last Whoa. question that we have to address. Wait, wait. I got. I okay. just. I just have the thought. Yes. You know, like, like ghost pirate ships. What about ghost planes? Like, you go, you okay. Go, you Amelia Earhart, airplane rowboat. Yeah, she's out rowboat. there. And then, and then it's a plane going in a circle, and he's like, "How the hell do you get in there?" Once you're in there, it's like, "Oh, spooky." It's it's spooky. It's kind of like in um, Scooby Breath Doo. of the Wild. For some reason, it reminds me of Breath of the Wild, only Breath of the Wild isn't flying. Okay, if you combine Breath of the Wild with uh, the one before it in the sky. Shadow of the Colossus? No. Yeah, Shadow of uh, the Hedgehog? Uh, 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 yes, Shadow of the Hedgehog. That's what I'm trying to think of. Yes. Okay. What I'm trying to say is I, I like Shadow of the Hedgehog. Sonic the Colossus? <laughs> <laughs> this is, Dude, he's, he's fast. so big. 
Dude, he doesn't like, even need to run. He just like he just like... he just puts he just puts one foot in front of the other. He's fucking there. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's there instantly. One step. He doesn't need to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is why we shouldn't let uh, women fly because Amelia Earhart fucking died. <laughs> Am I right, bros? <laughs> Vote no. He nailed it, dude. He nailed it. Okay, here All right, we do go. Do we have any more questions? There, I'm dying. There's one last <laughs> question that we have to answer. Uh, okay, here we go. At Muhammad H asks, oh, no. now that Canada allows sex with animals, <laughs> is there any animal in particular that you want to fuck? Sans the skeleton! <laughs> oh, Shay. Undertale! Shay! Buy my lemon pipes juice. <laughs> yes. I just love you, Sam. It's the, it's the national anthem of Undertale. Oh, boy, pussy. This is kind of devolved into a bonus episode, by the <laughs> way. I know, way. it really did. This is. Uh, by, oh, <laughs> shit. I forgot. We've got we've got shirts, everybody. I should have mentioned at the beginning. Go buy our fucking shirts that were there. There's links. There's links in the description and everywhere. There's bonus episodes. Become our patron, a five dollar patron. You get more of this kind of nonsense. Right. Like I can't believe we're still going with this. Everyone stand for the pledge. Uh, I pledge allegiance uh, to Sans. I to love Sans. Sans. Sans please uh, let me see your glorious face. Sans, I yeah. just want to be with you. Can't you just fucking understand, you simple bitch? <laughs> Special appearance by the Undertaler five eight seven. Everybody, uh, uh, yeah, go go be our patron five dollars for bonus episodes. Uh, you you get into our Discord at any amount. We talk to people there. Go do that shit. Buy our shirts. We got a bunch of merch up on the store now. Those remember those PCP Patreon shirts. You only get the good Did ones we- for one month, then they're going away forever, just like the old logo. So act now if you want that shit. Uh, go. That's yeah, on the Red Bubble, and there's there's other shit on the fucking print all over me. Pay Alm store. My go favorite buy thing about the military is all the child slaves that I can ground <laughs> into loop. I like that too. Uh, uh, follow our Patreon at TP Crastinators and send us questions every week that we answer, just like we did here using hashtag AskPCP. And that is all the announcements. Go buy our shit, everybody. Give us money so we can do more I, of this shit. I really like how, how the announcements of, of Patreon stuff was interjected occasionally by the Undertaler. I think that it's should be a staple it's appropriate. of the Patreon plug <laughs> is that the Undertaler should be there talking Sorry, about Sorry, I'm going on vacation. Bro! <laughs> oh, he's Excellent. gone. Oh, he he, he evaporated. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you, maybe that tradition just ended. Yeah, Find out may, next time, everybody, on the next forever. episode. Maybe Thanks for listening to the Pearl and Crassinators podcast, wait, wait, everybody. Wait, did we even answer that last question? We, uh, uh, yes. Sans the skeleton is the answer. I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, Sans. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. We're, it, we're done. All right, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm back. Oh. <laughs> That arc right. ended yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm jerking. Myself, I'm sorry.